Hello so guys, today I'm going to show you how you can get the MK2 weapons Like you see I have here my sniper that has MK2 You also have the combat MG, MK2 and a lot more weapons like you see So how do you go to MK2? So what you simply want to do is you just want to upgrade your weapon And before I uh, show you all what you need to have to get the MK2, I'm gonna show you first how you can upgrade it on here easily. You just wanna go to the weapon that still isn't upgraded. You just wanna click on upgrade and just buy it. And now you have the upgraded weapon of this version. So if you wanna refer it, you can always just click on refer it and click on carbon rifle. And now you have the original one. If you want though, you can upgrade it back. Like you see, it's it's like free you don't have to pay now I'm gonna show you guys how you can get those mk2s and what you need to upgrade it to a mk2 so there's actually a lot of steps let's start off so guys there is a couple stuff what you could need to upgrade it so I'm gonna go over to the couple stuff what you actually do need so the number one thing what you need is a bunker so if you don't have a bunker guys you will need a bunker and once you have a bunker either you will need the MOC the mobile operation center or you will need the Avenger or the terabytes so how can you go there just go to services and here you can see the mobile operation center the Avenger or the terabyte and you have to buy these ones guys like what you could do if you don't have a bunker yet or a MOC Avenger terabyte you can buy a bunker and then you buy a mobile operation center so the mobile operation center you do need a bunker for that and that's gonna be the cheapest option if you don't have any of those what I just named and Let's see how can you buy a bunker. Just go to the internet, go to Foreclosure Maze Bank, enter the site, and now you can go to a bunker. So a bunker is most likely just blue. So these are the bunkers. Me personally, I have this one, but it doesn't really matter which bunker you have. It's all gonna be the same. It's just the location. So once you do that, guys, you want to go to your bunker once you bought it. Now I am at my bunker. And by the way, guys, if you please could like and subscribe though. Thank you so much. It will really help me out. Also, you can follow me at Twitter and Instagram. I will leave the link in the description down below. Now what you want to do is you want to go over to here. To this yellow place over here and now you want to sit down. So if you cannot sit down it means that you are not signed in as a motorcycle club president you can do that or maybe you can even sign in with a secure serve uh, as a ceo or vip so let's just sit down so go to the internet on this one and you want to go to research so what will research be research is actually that you will unlock the mk2 like uh things like let's just say explosive bullets thermal scope you want to unlock these here but now i have it on inactive the reason why is i already unlocked everything in this game so i don't need to unlock everything so here are all the things that you can unlock And like you see on here, you have the armor piercing rounds, hollow point rounds, and a lot more stuff. So this is what I meant. You need to get all of these stuff before you're gonna get like uh, to upgrade your MK2. It's gonna be a lot better. You're gonna have a lot more options. 
and how do you upgrade these you just go here if you don't have them upgraded it will tell you that you need to wait you have to buy some supplies you need to buy some supplies actually so you can also steal supplies or buy supplies so i'm just gonna buy supplies just to sake for this video and you can see on the research that you will be able to um like wait out so it's gonna be more like a waiting game or a paying game so either you're gonna wait for this stuff to get unlocked by itself without like paying a lot of money or you have to pay to unlock it like uh, pretty fastly so that's what i did i just unlocked them all with using like i think about like 200,000 grand or something like that or 200,000 just so let's go over to the stuff and this is just it and on my locked i don't have any because i already unlocked them all so you have to buy some supply uh, i mean resupply uh, or you can just steal one if you don't want to uh, buy them and then let's go over to our moc so like i said guys you will need a moc you can also need a um you can also just buy a avenger or a terabyte it doesn't really matter like you don't really need to get a moc but i have one let's get in there And now here's our workshop and like you see it's just the same it's all the same you can also upgrade them from your moc and also you can upgrade them from your avenger let me show you guys so here we have our avenger Now let's get into our workshop. So this is loading a little bit. Sometimes it doesn't load. Let's see. Come on. Let's go through here. Let's go back. Now it should be like you see. Now we can upgrade our weapons also on here. It's all the same. And the best thing is, if you don't want it, you can just like uh, refer it back. It's also pretty cool. Like you see, I can upgrade it for free because I already upgraded this weapon and it's just for free now. But your one time upgrade is going to cost money. For example, let's just say this. Um, let's just say this one. I don't think I upgraded this one. Like you see, it's going to cost sometimes a little bit of money. It could be like 100,000, 200,000, it depends on the weapon itself. Now, let's go to our terabyte. Here we have our terabyte. Now, let's go in our workshop. So guys, I'm going to shoot some weapons, like I'm going to change magazine to, what should I change it to? What is this? Increased damage to vehicles, also penetrates to bullet resistant and bulletproof vehicles class, reduced capacity, um, increased penetration of body armor, reduced capacity, um, bullets which include a chance to set targets on fire when shot, reduced capacity, and bullets with bright visible markers that match the tint of the gun and this is just the normal extended where you get like 200 bullets instead of 100 it's just that i have it on this equip but i want to do this like body armor or maybe the fire rounds it's also pretty cool let's just choose this one okay i already have one of these upgraded and maybe like a tent this one looks pretty cool to me
Like this is pretty cool actually. Let's just go with a white tint. So guys, let's go and test this gun out. So let's start off with our um, combat MG. I actually forgot to um, buy some ammo for this. Let's just first off get people out of their vehicle. Stop this guy. Let's see how it's gonna be to NPCs. So it's pretty cool, it's just one shot. What if I shoot someone in their vehicle? Let's see. So they won't catch on fire, guys. Just to let you know. Now, let's test out our heavy sniper with uh, explosive ammo. So this is one of my favorites, guys. So what happens is once you shoot someone, he will explode. And how does that happen? I'm gonna show you right now. So do you see this car over here? Boom, just one shot and it's just exploded. One shot exploded. That's pretty cool, guys. And also, this is the best thing to use against, um, like, let's just say, jets that fly around. Sometimes you have that annoying guy in the lobby with a jet that kills everyone in the lobby. So what you can do is just grab your uh, sniper, just shoot him out. And it's that easy just only two shots and he's already out so once you shoot that um, jet about like two times it will explode or turn into flames it's that easy you can also do it to other uh, vehicles like players let's just say that a player is in a vehicle it will take about two shots on a npc it will only take about one shot that's the difference so these are some couple tips that I want to give you extra and thanks for watching guys. I hope you enjoy it. Also, if you have questions, you can just comment down below. And if you please could like and subscribe too. Thanks so much. That will really help me out. And you can also join the Aerofix community or the Kiri community on here on the PS4 or maybe even on the PS5 once it come out and on the xbox it's just the same name you can just search up the same name and it will just pop out as a club or community how i want to call it arafix and kiri so thanks for watching guys and take care of yourself goodbye